Hello and welcome back to the Minish Cap. We are just entering the Tower of Droplets, I believe it's called. Be careful, because it's slippery. What? This floor is made out of ice. Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Paul. Look, the first room, and there's already a boss key door. What the what? So, this is the water dungeon, technically, and so, of course, it's gonna be ridiculously confusing. Luckily, I practiced it before, so we're not gonna be that confused. I mean, already we can't go anywhere but this. But you see that there's some weird thing we have to do with the ice. And the sun. Well, there's a key there, but it's locked in a block of ice! So we'll push this switch, it'll open that thing from above, and it will make a hole appear. Hey, the sunlight's shining through! Ah, it's so nice and warm, I can feel myself starting to defrost again. Oh, shut up, Ezlo. My hair is warming you. So if we fall down this hole, we push this block and just... Oh my gosh. Would you shush? I see the key is frozen. Stop talking. So there's going to be a lot of these block puzzles in this dungeon, and I might not be able to do some of them. <laughs> because I need to have very much help throughout this. About where to push the blocks. and. It was very annoying. But now we have a key to this door. I also hate when there's stuff like that where the... I hate when there are torches that shoot balls at you. Okay, here's one of them. Here's one of them puzzles. We got a key and another key in a jar. So let's see if I can remember. I believe we want to push this here. And this. Wah! This ice is way too slippery. All the way over here. And we can push the key. I don't know why the key has just has ears. Interesting. I guess so you'll notice there's a key in it. I don't know how you wouldn't notice that. And then push it over here and it gets the boss key. Oh, that's why it has ears, because it's the, the big key. Now, I said to myself while I was playing this, why the heck is this switch here? Because I, I immediately flipped the switch, because I'm like, there's a switch here, gotta flip it. But it closed the door, and so you can't... You can't melt the ice. So I'm like, why is this switch here? Oh, well. And then I go up here, and I said, oh. How am I going to get back to the main room? Grr, there's a switch here to close the door. Do we really need a cutscene of that? We know that's what's going to happen. Or I guess I didn't. Now we can walk across. Alrighty, now we can get the fart out of here. I hate the ice in this game. It is way too slippery. So 
So our main goal is to flip these two switches. That's the main goal of this dungeon. Let light into this main room where... Hey! hey! Well done, Paul! It looks like to be the element, all right! But what will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice! We'll need to melt it off somehow! So we have to flip these two switches to melt this ice, but... It also melts this guy, and it's the boss. I think that's clever that this is the f only dun this is the first dungeon in Zelda I think that I can think of where the ne the first room is the boss, but you can't fight them yet. Pretty clever. So if we go down here first, we get some coins, which are made of rupees. <laughs> They're called rubies. And their roops. We found a dungeon map! Oh good, the lighter rooms are the ones you visited and the blinking rooms are the locations. We've gotten maps before, we know what they are. So now we have to use our flippers and swim and then dive underneath the pipes. Oh, I need money, actually. In the practice file, I have 999 rupees still, so I don't need money. These guys are annoying in this level. I got my hearts down pretty frickin' low before I got to the boss. And I was really concerned when I was practicing that I was not gonna be able to beat the boss. But I did it. So we can step on this switch and that lowers the waterfall and then we can just fall down the waterfall. Whoa, I'm pressing the wrong button. I have a Super Nintendo controller. The Game Boy Advance has only two buttons, but the Super Nintendo controller has four. I forgot what I'm supposed to do to get a key. Did I miss something? Oh, now I remember. It has to do with this. The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. And so if you go over here, there is a structure shaped like a pot. And then you go to the bottom. You don't even go to the bottom. You go to this area here. And there's a key in there. Not sure why I dived. That's what I needed to do over here. Then we can climb up this wall to get back above the waterfall. We can open this door finally and go open this place. And then we need to use this. Oh, I don't like using this. It's not accurate enough. The fact that you have to do the spit, 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 spit instead of in like Wind Waker when we could just use the Deku Leaf to make it go a very large distance. In this one, it goes very short distance. You have to constantly be shooting this poot, poot butt. Vacuum cleaner. So this is tough. I was looking at the Nintendo Power Guide for tips and it says to like, you have to like, scoot it past. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I did it. Maybe. So you can always get on this thing, but you cannot get... The reason we need this, even though we have the flippers, it, it was very confusing to me at first. I'm like, why do I need this when I can swim? But we can only get onto... Remember, if you remember from us not being able to get that hard piece last time, we can't get onto these platforms from the water. Only if there's a shallow part. So we gotta get on this to get on the thing. Pretty dumb. 
Hey, get over here. Let me hit you. And now we meet our old friend from the first dungeon. If I can remember how to do this. And we got ice physics too. It's great. I'm so glad to have ice physics with this guy. And then there's also these things. They bounce you around if you hit them, so you may as well get rid of them, I guess. I don't know, I didn't seem to have any trouble with it. You get hurt? I'm so sorry. Dang it. I did have trouble. Go away! Stupid cobwebs. And in here we can get the compass! Oh, wow. Such a useless item for having to beat that caterpillar guy. Anyways, then we can go back over here. And up. Ah, oh, but we went too far that way. Up, I say. over here. Ah, oh, you can't go that way. What's the point of that? The, the annoying part about this large section of block is that if you slip off and you go into the water, you have to go around to a specific part. These guys have picked up pots, it seems like. Yeah, they're throwing it on me. 50 roops! Woohoo! So there's two chests in this area that we're gonna have to come back to at the end before we fight the boss because we need the dungeon item in order to get them. Let's see if I can see in my eyes how to do this puzzle. Oof. Uh, no, I can't. Oh my god, it's not even that difficult. You just need to push this one block. Problem is, this ice is so slippery, I, I'm always afraid I'm going to push the wrong block. Okay, we did it! Let's get back in our stupid leaf. that we get the flippers just to have to do this stupid thing again. So there's a chest over here also. But we also need the dungeon item in to open it. Really? It reset? That is dumb. Oh, this one. Oh, where are you? Are you still there under me? It's so dark, I can't see my beak in front of my face. Watch your step. I don't want you to trip over anything. Yeah, yeah, I can still see you. There's still some sort of light around us for some reason. It should be completely dark like in Link to the Past when you don't have the... Like Link to the Past randomizer when you don't have the light. 
just complete darkness. Oh no, mini boss. Is it really though? Is this really a mini boss? I hate these guys so much. At least we're not on ice, but I'm still running into them every five seconds. Can you shoot it farther than that so I can hit you? Now we have a warp to this area. Woohoo! As you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage in this dungeon, and by the time I got to the end, oof, I was taking a lot of damage. Alright, so we got to the first one of these switches. That opens half of a ceiling. It's enough to melt that, but not the big giant blocks. Of course, sunlight! Once we get some sunlight in this melty ice, Yes, we've been doing this the entire dungeon to get keys. What are you talking about, dude? At least these are always hot. So now we can go over here! Wow, empty chests. A kinstone piece! Oh no. We've had to deal with this before. Come on, little bugs. I don't want to slip and fall. There's a chest here. I believe it's another kinstone blue. Yes, it is. I'm right. I remember from yesterday when I played it. Alright. This is annoying. So there's two ways to go left and right. This thing. Ah. Uh, no. And left is the way to go. Right is just two pots. So now you know and you won't make a mistake now we need a key to the bottom door we can push this lever that will make the thing open up Right. That actually closes the door. That's not. Nice. You have to close the door to open the more above door, I guess. Then we can open this door and it'll make the light come down to this chest. Ah! I'm flipping around the stupid ice physics. And we got another small key! Now that's open. Uh, I don't think it matters. And this is the real mini boss. And it's a doozy! So we're dealing with those same caterpillars from the first dungeon. Now we're going to deal with the boss of the first dungeon, except now he's made of ice and he is electric. You cannot, when he's electric, you cannot vacuum his bottom up for some reason. I don't know how that makes sense.
but you take care of him the same way you did in the first dungeon. He's just a mini boss now instead of a boss. And he turns electric every time. Come on, jump at me, boy! Damn it. Why don't you just stay electric the whole time? Because that's obviously how you're gonna win. Why would you ever turn not electric so that I can actually take away your legs? I had to do this four times for the boss. I mean, when I was practicing. Stop! You're hurting me! Get out of my way! You're trapping me in the corner. That is not fair. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? That was real mean. So I can just get trapped in a corner. Oh, he actually died in three hits this time. I wish they would give you fairies after the bosses like they did in the other handheld games. We got the flame lantern! This handy item lights up the night. Press the button to turn it on or off. So this is a weird lantern. Because you have to bring it out. And then if you want to light things up, you touch them. Then you can put it away. Like, that's weird, right? Alright, well, this is where I am going to stop the first of the episodes I record today. We will finish the rest of the dungeon in the next episode. So remember to like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And ring that bell to be notified of future videos. And we will be back. Bye.